Good afternoon. It's 4 o'clock. I'm CKDM News Director Matt Hamill with your news now. Well, this morning, the Premier and Dr. Brent Rusin announced what's currently under consideration when the health orders are updated next Friday, which could see the reopening of restaurants, tattoo parlors, and libraries all at 25% capacity. Reopening churches and places of worship at 10% capacity is also on the table, according to Dr. Brent Rusin. Uh, so our numbers certainly allow this continued cautious approach to reopening but we're still at a very critical juncture moving forward. To see that full list of proposed changes and for a link to provide your feedback, you can visit 730ckdm.com. Today's COVID update from the province reported 110 new cases and two deaths that were both in Winnipeg. Seven new cases were added in Prairie Mountain Health and Dauphin's number of active cases remains at one. There are currently 3,340 active cases in Manitoba, according to the provincial data. 55% of those are in the Northern Health Region. Two outbreaks at the Yorkton Regional Health Centre have resulted in 90 cases of COVID-19 as of yesterday. The first outbreak was declared on January 17th in the intensive care unit, followed by a second outbreak in the inpatient medical units declared January 19th. The hospital's interim director of acute care says anyone requiring health services at the Yorkton Regional Health Centre should still feel confident about coming to the facility. Both yesterday and today, hospital staff have been scheduled to receive some doses of the COVID vaccine. And the federal government's plan to let people write off working from home due to the pandemic could result in a $260 million amount of lost tax revenue. The parliamentary budget officer says the number of people claiming a deduction for home office expenses likely to skyrocket this year. His report anticipates that more renters will file for deductions using a more complicated approach because they can claim the cost of rent. Now, Yves Giroux also says homeowners may opt for the simplified method and claim $400 because they can't claim mortgage or capital costs. For more news, you can always go to 730ckdm.com. Coming up right after this, we'll take a look at that five-day weather forecast. Share some happy delivery. 730 CKDM weather. Tonight we're dropping down to minus 21 degrees. There's also a slight chance of some flurries early in the evening. Uh, for tomorrow, setting us up for a mix of sun and cloud and a high of minus 17. North wind at around 20 kilometers an hour uh, as well. For Saturday, we're looking at a sunny sky and a high of minus 22. Minus 26 on Sunday and a bit cooler on Monday. Minus 29 the high to start off next week with sunny skies in the forecast. Right now in Dauphin, we've had some cloudy skies today. A north-northwest wind at 15 kilometers an hour. Temperatures at minus 14 degrees. Feels like minus 22 with that wind chill. Well, we'll take a look at how the stock market's closed for the day. Coming up right after this in the CKDM Business Report.